Hello good people and welcome back to another video. This time we'll be talking about reflections on the coordinate plane. Now before we get into reflections you really need to know how to plot points first. So if you're a little shaky still on just plotting a standard point that's where you gotta start. Like I said you gotta know how to plot these points so here's a quick little review. You gotta know which number is the x value and which number is the y value. So in this set of ordered pairs, 5, comma, negative 3, 5 is our x value, 3, negative 3 is our y value. You also need to know which one is the x-axis and which one is the y-axis. The x-axis, that's right here, that's going to be the horizontal line. And the y-axis, that's right here, that's going to be our vertical line. So real quickly, if I was going to plot that point uh, 5, negative 3 on a coordinate graph, I would start here at the origin, and then I'm going to count 5 spaces over to the right because my x value is a positive number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I'm looking in this area. Then I'm going to check on my y value, which is negative 3. So I need to go down from that spot 3 spaces and this space right here, that will be 5, negative 3. But that was a quick review. What we're really here to talk about today is reflections. Now the problem is going to tell you either that you are asked to reflect over the x-axis or over the y-axis. And that's really important to pay attention because it's going to change how we proceed. Back here to our coordinate plane and that ordered pair again, 5, negative 3, Let's assume that the question is asking us to reflect this over the x-axis. Whichever axis you are asked to reflect over, that value will stay the same. So in this case, I'm being asked to reflect over the x-axis. My x value, this 5, that will stay the same. So the answer, the point that I'm going to plot, will be somewhere here because that entire spot is five spaces to the right of the origin. What's going to change is that y value. So since we're reflecting over the x-axis, it's a bit like jumping over the x-axis. So we'll keep that x value, but our y value will be the opposite. Instead of negative 3, it will be positive 3. And the reflection of that point is going to be 5, 3, both numbers positive. All right, so let's start with another point, but still reflecting over the x-axis. So our point is negative 4, 6, so we need to plot that first. Uh, I'll do that x value, so negative 4, I'm going to be left of the origin, 1, 2, 3, 4 in this area. And then I need to go up 6, because that's a positive 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that's where this point is going to be, I'll call it point A. And now we'll reflect this over the x-axis. So my x value will stay the same, which means that this point will be somewhere along this line. So, but it is going to be on the opposite side for my y value, so that will be a negative 6. So starting here from the origin, I'll have to go down 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that point would be here, and I could call it a 1. Just like we can reflect over the x-axis, we can reflect over the y-axis. So let's try that. Well, we talked about the idea that whatever axis we're reflecting over, that value will stay the same. So now, since we're reflecting over the y-axis, the y value will stay the same. So let's plot this point first. 3, negative 2. So i got to plot my x value first, that's 3, 1, 2, 3, then to negative 2, and 3, negative 2 would be right here, and I could call that point B. And now I'm going to reflect that over the y-axis. My y value will stay the same, and my x value will be the opposite. So that means my x value will be negative 3, 1, 2, 3 over in the negative, my y value stays the same, and this would be the reflection, B1. All right, let's try one more reflected over the y-axis. This time, negative 5, negative 4. So first we'll plot this. 
one, two, three, four, five over here in the negative, and then the y is negative also, so one, two, three, four. So this will be my point. I'll call it point C. And now I'm going to reflect it over the y-axis, like jumping. I'm going to be jumping over the y-axis. So my x value is going to be the opposite. So instead of negative 5, it will be positive 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 will be right here. My y value stays the same, negative 4, and this would be point C1, I could call it. Okay, a little recap. First, you got to know how to plot points. You're going to plot the x value first, then the y value. So if we had the point 4, negative 7, you are going to plot that positive 4 first along the x-axis, moving right of the origin. And then you are going to plot that negative 7 by going down below the origin uh, 7 points. Okay, so now reflections. Remember that if it is reflected over the x-axis, that means that the x value is going to stay the same. And the same holds true for the y-axis. If it asks you to reflect over the y-axis, the y value is going to stay the same. And the third little point, when it says to reflect over an axis, it's sort of like jumping over that axis. If it asks you to reflect over the x-axis, we are jumping over the x-axis to the other side. If you're asked to reflect over the y-axis, then we are jumping over the y-axis to the other side. All right. That's it. Have a great day. Hope it helps, and we'll see you soon.